Today, we are looking at supercar show-offs. It's amazing that dickheads who own supercars don't know how to drive them. Old mate here thinks he's a Tokyo Drift master. He puts his foot flat and swerves into oncoming traffic. Despite nearly killing at least two to three people, he probably thinks he looks cool. I'd argue that he does not. Yeah, nah. It's a big yeah, nah from me. Surely this wanker can do better, although his engine is screaming otherwise. <laughs> Come on, fuck me dead, just drive straight, it can't be hard. I believe this fella can do it, just drive straight. Holy shit balls, there's a wall right there. You drove straight, but where were you planning on going mate? This is it, no traffic, open country road, this is gonna be sick. He bloody fangs it and, oh come on, how do you end up in the bush? Just drive straight, you have one job. No, no, turn, turn, bugger. Knowing how to turn in a supercar is also quite critical. The problem with owning a supercar is just the sheer power. Common mistakes quickly become cluster fucks. This Porsche bastard wants to fly out of the car park, but he's in reverse, bam! Is he talking to an imaginary Sheila in there? He's like, this doesn't usually happen. Most days I know the difference between drive and reverse. Imaginary Sheila is thinking, whatever, I miss my old boyfriend and his Toyota Camry, ouch. Taking dad's Ferrari out for a cheeky spin is a tradition as old as Ferris Bueller's day off, but still not a good idea if you don't know how to fucking drive. Please remember that just because your Lambo may look like a submarine, it is in fact not a submarine. That's 007's car you're thinking of, you dickhead. <laughs> This knob floors it, and what a surprise, he destroys parked cars. People run over, they're like, are you all right? And he replies, yeah, nah, this is how I drive, mate. It's my choice as a supercar owner. I learned everything I know from Grand Theft Auto. And it's not against the law to smash into parked cars. Just do us a favor and let them know I don't care. This fruitcake wants to impress a truck driver. He rips a burnout like he's announcing a baby's gender and whips around beautifully in time for the cops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now these moments are what us common folk live for. My stiffy's activated. Is he trying to get away? Look, it is possible to show off your expensive toys without being a cockface. This guy is nailing it. Whack a tow bar on your Lambo and off you go. You can transport your hay. Wait, back the fuck up. Are those goats? These are the most badass goats I've ever seen. Cruising in a trailer attached to a Lamborghini. Actual bloody goats. I think I can die happy now. This video has made me happy for some reason. Low riders are a cool car to show off in, but just because you can bounce an entire car like a basketball, it doesn't mean you should. Drive safe out there, everyone, like this. Much safer. This is my type of speed.